So how early does an airline pilot have to get to the airport to go through TSA and all that stuff? <laughs> That's a great question. And I push the limits on that to see where, you know, I stress test it to see. We have to be there one hour prior to push. I have pressed it all the way up to that one hour and it's plenty of time. Is it like a Saved by the Bell and Zach Morris? There's like a five minute rule. If you're not there within five minutes of takeoff, then they replace you with another pilot or does everybody just leave? Like what happens? You know, I think the flight attendants have that. They actually will replace them if they're not there within or they're missing or something or didn't check in on time. Typically, if I show up to the airplane, the first officer is not there and it's, you know, pushing the 30 minutes because we have to be at the gate at 30 minutes. It's pushing that. I'll try to send them a text. Hey, man, everything okay? What's going on? And then what happens if they don't show up? They'll have another person come out. It's a cascade effect, so they'll pull somebody from another flight to go cover that flight, then pull in someone else until they can get a reserve out. It's a two-hour call out for a reserve. What's the most money you've ever seen an airline pilot make? About 700 k plus, but that was under the old uh, contract. Our new contract, guys will make over a million. Over a million in one year? Over a million in a year. Wow. How long do you think it takes to, for somebody who's just starting to fly to get to over a million a year if they want to do that? You know, I, I think these guys are super senior. They know how to run the system. You would have to be at the airline, man, 20 years. So at the airline for 20 years and maybe like seven or eight years to get there? Yeah. Seven, eight, two years to get there, about 20 years. And, and that will vary. What's the fastest you've ever seen somebody who has had zero hours and never started flying to get to an airline? Interviewed somebody with five years and they got hired. So from never flying to five years of flight time. Five years. Wow, that's awesome. What's the best airline to fly for? Southwest. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite place that you've ever flown to, whether it's on a charter or commercial flight? Ooh, I split up. Charter was Anguilla in the Caribbean. Okay. And then for a commercial flight is definitely Hawaii. I've only been to Hawaii a couple of times. I, I want to go back. It's awesome. Yeah. What's your favorite trip that you've ever picked up on Southwest? Definitely a Hawaii trip with a long overnight in uh, Kona, Hilo. Awesome. I hear this all the time from airline pilots when they say an overnight. Like, what does that mean? Is it just like one night? What is that? It is just one night. Typically ranges from 16. I uh, could go as low as 12 hours up to... 24 hours. So a long overnight is like 20 to 24 hours or something? For us, yes. There's some airlines that will do 36, 48 hour overnights like FedEx. They'll do mm. long overnights, but they typically fly two week trips. How come you don't fly for FedEx? You know, I tried. Really? I applied to FedEx and Southwest. And Southwest is, took you and FedEx said no? I never got the interview at FedEx. I thought maybe it would be better flying just cargo that doesn't talk back to you. I don't know. What do you think? You know, I love being an airline pilot. So I, I always said, hey, the two companies I would ever want to work for are these two companies. And whoever hires me first, that's where I'm going to be. Cool. How long have you been to Southwest? 13 years. Wow. Awesome. I don't think I've ever... Uh, well, I was in the military for 20, so I guess I've done something for 13 years. Yeah. What's the best piece of aviation advice you've ever gotten? Just go in with a humble attitude and be willing to learn. I think that's really important. I think there's a lot of aviators that are oh, kind man. of cocky. Oh, yeah. You know, especially Navy aviators. What do you think? I think Air Force, too. Oh, uh, for we sure. Might, huh? We might have you built on, <laughs> you know, on that one. Everybody <laughs> always says Air Force to me. Like anytime somebody is giving my background, they're like, oh, this guy's an Air Force pilot. Just that's all they know is if people that fly in the Air Force. Fun fact, if I had to do it again, I think I would probably have joined the Navy to go fly. They're learning how you guys fly and the lack, well, the rule book that you follow is definitely smaller than the rule book that we followed in the Air Force. Okay, I knew I liked you for some reason. That's yeah, probably why. Yeah. yeah. If somebody wants to get started in aviation and start flying, what, where do, where would you recommend they start? I would say just even the local flight school, just take a discovery flight just to see if you really like it. It's one thing to watch your airplanes fly. It's a different thing to actually be in the airplane, get the smells, get the vibration, all that stuff. So do a discovery flight. And uh, those are like small airplanes, like uh, mm -hmm. Cessna 150s, 152s, 172s. Yeah, 172s, yep. yep. And so do, would you say that that's representative of what they would fly in the future? Or if they didn't like how slow or how bumpy that is, would you say to kind of push through it if that's the only thing missing? Or what would you say? You I know would what I mean? say push through it. Like you're going to have to learn to, to fly in all different kinds of weather, right? Whether it's hot, that's usually where the bumps come in. With the training, your body's going to get used to it. How much does it cost to get your private pilot's license? Depends on the school. I've seen as low as 10000 I've seen as high as, sky's the limit, but 20 some thousand. Okay. And how long does it take? If you're going two to three times a week, it should take you about 90 days. What is the best interview tip that you can give for somebody who's interviewing for the airline? Just come in with the passion that you have when you applied to the airline. Make sure that shines through in the interview. And come in being humble and very hungry to get a job. Awesome. What should they wear on that interview? 
professional professional attire so depending on where you're going we we would like to see a suit tie what's your favorite question to ask on airline interview oh man i'm gonna give away my trade secrets really the one question that that breaks everything out is why do you want to be here mm. that i can go in many different directions what is the best watch to buy if you are getting into aviation i would say hamilton Oh, I love a Hamilton. I actually own a Hamilton. Most people don't know what that is. Yeah, I know. They're one of the oldest watch companies in the country. Well done. Hamilton, you heard it here.